Good evening all, welcome to sports, I'm Ramiko Knowles. First up in sports, the Bahamas has a new international fitness professional bodybuilder. Tammy Stubbs has been competing in fitness competitions for the past 14 years, but this year she decided to turn up the intensity to prepare for the Diamond Cup in Montreal, Canada, which is where she got her pro card. I um, competed in the Masters division, ladies 35 years and older, on my B class, at that height. I won both gold medals for both of the divisions and I end up winning the overall from the A class, my B, C and the D, tall, taller ladies. So I had a wonderful time, an excited time, I'm really happy about the outcome. The professional bodybuilder says the journey has not been easy and there were days when she wanted to take a break, but she pressed on. I work an 8.30 to 5.30 job in a Collins. And to come in the gym for 4.35 in the morning, get back home by 6, get ready for work, pre prepare my meals, make sure everything is set up for the whole day, be to work till 5, rush back here, you know, extra work, it was really, it, 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 you have to do it. In order to succeed in the sport or any sport, you have to really be dedicated. Husband and trainer Glenn Stubbs says that he's proud of his wife's accomplishment and that he believes in her ability. We've been to so many shows. She looked great, always looked great. And we've been in that situation before and I told her I was, didn't know because we was in Canada. All the athletes were Canadian, Canadian judges on the panel. You know there's sometimes when country judges and countrymen on stage, sometimes the results don't go in their favor. I just knew, based on this prep and based on our commitment, that no matter which stage we go on, all our friends were doubting us going to Canada. The show was too hard. They didn't say it, but they was kind of, why are you going there? But we can go on any stage and beat anyone. The husband and wife duo says that next year they are looking to put on their first pro show. She's always been top-notch athlete. She trained by the best. She's been to CAC, won two gold medals back-to-back. The only female ever done that in the Bahamas. I'm so happy she's the pro now because she's going to really show her talent. We're really going to show our talent our gift by her being a pro. Congratulations to them both on the accomplishment. The Grand Bahama Secondary and Primary School Athletic Association released its 2017-2018 Sandra Edge come Cecil Thompson Sports Schools of the Year. In the primary school winner is Walter Parker Primary. The lower primary school winner is Freeport Gospel Chapel. In the junior and senior high school, Tabernacle Falcons are your winners for the 2017-2018 sporting year. Congratulations to those schools. Scores from the Fast Pitch Championship games played on Wednesday, October 10th at the Grand Bahama Sports Complex softball field. Platinum Islands Pro Hitters defeated BTC Blazers 8-7. The winning pitcher, Leon Cooper. The losing pitcher, Darren Mortimer. That series is now tied 2-2. Game 5 is scheduled for this coming Friday, October 12th. Platinum Islands Pro Hitters will take on the BTC Blazers for the championship. That's your check on sports. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Ramiko Knowles. Until next time, make it a great one.